Hey, what's up guys, Hafu here. I just came back from Stanford University as a part of the Campus Crawl Season 2 trip. Subscribe to see that soon. Let me show you this. I got some Stanford water. This is gonna make me smarter. Wow. I feel my IQ increasing. But anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you my first impressions oh of Stanford University. God, that's amazing. And I interviewed some students to see what it's actually like studying at Stanford. I'll see you at the end for a special surprise. Let's go. Where am I going? I think I'm getting a call. Hey, Hafu. Welcome to Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, walking along the Stanford campus, it gives me that beachy feel. This legit looks like a beach resort, man. What was your first impression of Stanford University? The moment I stepped in here, I thought I was in a resort. So if you... Exactly, as a beach resort. Look at these palm trees. And these buildings, they look like a hotel. Studying here probably doesn't feel like a beach resort because everyone's so focused on research or their academics. Student life at Stanford, it's very challenging. Everyone is very competitive, but everyone is pushed to succeed and thrive. Because everyone who got in had to be competitive in high school, the culture here is definitely strive for the best grades possible. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this campus, honestly. Like, it's a lot of walking. It's huge. Like, you have to bike everywhere. Otherwise, you'll have really strong legs from walking, which is also really good. The architecture here is like kind of bland, in my opinion. I don't like it. And these architectures are not very tall. It's like very flat. What is it like to live here? Sure. Um, so I live on campus in graduate housing. Um, and the, from what I understand of student life and the undergraduates is pretty active. Sports, activity, clubs, or like everything. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people are very just active generally. Typically like in your apartment or you'll make friends. Oh man, it was a long walk to get here. <laughs> yeah, so late, dude. Everyone's already gone. <laughs> this is the NVIDIA Auditorium. It's one of the engineering classrooms. We can see it. Everything is pretty new. That's the thing about engineering. All the engineering classes are new. The rest of campus is not as nice as this. I think there's a pretty heavy tech culture here. Mm. Uh, as someone who does literature, it can be kind of irritating to me that Silicon Valley has a really big presence in terms of funding, in terms of research. So I think Stanford as an institution tends to put a lot more funding towards tech and engineering. Okay. Computer science and engineering, they're two of the biggest majors at Stanford. Do you think they kind of overshadow the other majors? I think a lot of people do start in CS or do come to Stanford just for CS. It does overshadow some of the other majors in a sense that people want to try it out. Okay. Like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, like, it's the new hottest thing right now. Hotter than the sun. Yeah. As we were walking around outside, there's like so many research centers. It's insane because like schools are basically ranked on their research. Stanford is ranked one or two, so you know, this is how they get there. Are you like a YouTuber or something? Yeah. What do you guys like to do on campus when you're not studying? There isn't much to do around here. It's, yeah, like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere, but at Stanford, we have an organization called Cardinal Knights, and they host a bunch of events on the weekends, uh, especially like Fridays for student life. Um, we have things like free tickets to like um, the movies or free tickets to basketball games, baseball games. Otherwise, there's always a lot of parties happening on the row. The row is where all the frat houses, sorority houses are. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but before even arriving to campus, staying at the Airbnb near here, it feels very peaceful. Uh, it's like the suburbs. It's a lot of like middle aged slash old people, so there's not much excitement around here, honestly, which is a great studying environment. And that's what I think Stanford is good for. When you come here, you have complete focus on your studies because you're not distracted by like going out to clubs, going out to bars. But on the weekends, if you want, you could actually just take the train all the way to San Francisco, which is like another 40 minutes. Student life, if you like sports, Stanford is definitely a place you want to go to because they literally are the best in the country. 
there's no denying that their trophy room just looks insane. What I personally want to study here, I mean, other than the fact that it's Stanford and you're getting a good education, just comparing the student lives between all the campuses I've visited, I would place this like mid-tier, honestly. I think personally for me, this is a little bit too slow. I like to be in a big city. I like things fast. And here, I just don't feel that. It feels too calm, too quiet. Honestly, I think the most comparable school to Stanford is MIT because they're both very focused on engineering faculties. Between those, I would rather go to MIT actually because uh, I don't know. I think uh, the people there are just a little bit more nerdy, which is great. <laughs> they get really into what they're doing. What is the hardest part about studying at Stanford? I think it's walking around. If you don't have a bike, you're screwed. I think today we walked like 12 kilometers just doing the campus crawl. Honestly, my first impression of Stanford, it's great, but it's too slow for my taste, personally. You can hate on me in the comments, but uh, I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion. I know a lot of you wanna get into Stanford, but getting into Stanford is hard. But you know what's not hard? Signing up for today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. So Brilliant.org is a problem-solving website that will teach you to think like a software engineer. They offer an online interactive course called Computer Science Fundamentals and 50 other courses. But this course is perfect for you college and high school students who want to see what computer science is all about. The best part is they break the concepts into bite-sized chunks and then show you the thinking process. Lastly, they build it up to a really interesting conclusion. To understand computer science better, go to brilliant.org slash hafu to sign up for free. And they're also giving you the Hafu University Scholarship. So the first 200 people to click that link in the description will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? Go check it out. Maybe after taking that, you won't need the Stanford water like me. My name is Hafu Guo. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you next time. Peace.